Hi folks, this is Ranger Liam with another Ranger Minute for Redwood National and State Parks. And today I'm standing in front of the estuary for Redwood Creek. And this is just before Redwood Creek makes its way out to the Pacific Ocean. If I were to get into a canoe and paddle upstream about 11 miles, I'd come to some of the tallest trees on the whole planet. However, what's going on behind me today is we have fish biologists who are out here trying to determine how many fish are in this creek. Let's go and check it out. The process of counting salmon involves a few separate steps. To begin, fishery biologists use a boat to cast the large seine net in the estuary. Then, working as a team, the net is slowly drawn in, capturing hundreds of juvenile fish. These fish will be king salmon, steelhead, cutthroat trout, and sticklebacks. We're focusing on the salmon and steelhead. Next, the fish are placed in holding nets in the estuary to wait their turn to be counted. Working in batches, the fish are taken from the estuary to the counting tent where they are first calmed by a mild sedative added to the blue basin. They are then tattooed with blue dye and then placed in a holding bucket and given time to regain their composure. These fish are then released back into the estuary. Why would we tattoo fish? Well, we can't count all of the fish in the estuary in one day. Counting usually takes three days a month, three months a year. By tattooing these fish, we can create a population estimate using ratios. This container of chocolate-covered raisins represents all of the fish in the estuary. The yogurt-covered raisins represent the fish that we have caught, counted, tattooed, and then released back into the estuary. A month later, when we recatch these tattooed fish, we can determine the ratio of marked fish to unmarked fish that we have caught and thus estimate the number of fish in the estuary. So you see, math actually does come in handy. We should note that both the sedative and the tattoo are fairly harmless and that in the long run, these population estimates will help us determine the health of the Redwood Creek estuary as a fish rearing habitat.